of the year. Down and the action is getting nose to tail for the top three spots. It's Sam Hornish here at Texas Motor Speedway with 11 to go. And Tony Kanaan, Danica Patrick, and Danica is the fastest car on the racetrack. Take a look, 213 to 211. Ten laps left to go, and everybody's standing in Texas, Marty. They're all standing up here in the grandstand right now. She's absolutely fast. She's only five feet tall, but, boy, she's got a lot of determination for a young lady driver here in Texas tonight. Take a look. There you'll see the crowd, and everybody there is standing. And look at them cheering them on. Pick your favorite driver. The hardest part being that third car in the line is all that dirty air. Once you get up there, it's almost impossible to get around unless these two start dancing. Well, Tony's trying to psych out Sam Hornish right now, letting him think that he might go high, hoping that Sam sort of runs a high line to allow Tony to get on the low side. But once you open that door just a little bit and let the car nose come up there, it's going to be very close. Now, Danica has to also be aware that if these two touch, she wants to be close enough to be able to get by, but not too close where you're going to get involved in it like we just saw a few minutes ago with that other big wreck. Lap traffic, not a factor. That's the nine car of... Scott Dixon, who's got back out to circulate to try to collect some points. Brian, you've got more on Danica? Well, guys, what a sweet relief of victory would be for Danica Patrick. Her team is cheering her on down here. She knows that she is fast on the track. She knows that she has caught up with these guys. And her attitude, guys, she's been quiet in the car, except for when she made that pass around Scott Sharp. She said, get him out of my way. She is on a mission, you guys. They are good on fuel, and this might be her day. Seven laps to go. The question is, can she get around not only one, but both of them? That's going to be the hardest part. Tony's got his hands full just trying to get rid of Sam. Well, it's one thing to get caught up to the group because we saw that she was running those 213, almost 214 mile an hour laps sometimes. But then it's another thing to pass. You know Sam Harnish. So five to go. She's getting the word from Kim Green. Keep with Tony. But Sam's not going to move off that low line, guys. He's going to keep down there and keep that bottom lane shut off to Tony Kanaan. If they can get lockstep, Tony's looking at the high side. It's the farther way around. Danica's starting to fade. With five laps to go, she's losing contact with these two. That's Bev Patrick, Danica's mom. Even if she doesn't win, this will still be a career best finish if she stays right there. Four laps to go. And this is a different Danica Patrick this year than it was last year or the year previously. She is aggressive. She is comfortable with the race car. She knows how to do the starts and the restarts now. She's getting all the help from her teammates, and she's getting more experience, and she's going to be a winner sooner or later here in the IndyCar Series. Three laps to go. It is still a battle up front. Tony Kanaan way wide. Danica tries to follow him. Sam drifts up a little higher, then get tucks right back down to the low line. This time by, it'll be two laps to go here at Texas Motor Speedway. Does Sam pick up his first win of the year? Or does Tony do it again, go back to back from Milwaukee? Now watch Tony, he tries for these slingshots all the time, coming off the turn, trying to keep his momentum going. Coming to the white flag this time by. Here it is, one to go. White flag. Remember we said last lap, last turn, that's what it'll come down to. And in the high side, Tony knows he's going to have to do it up top if he's going to get it done. Down the back stretch, he tucks back in underneath. The last time Sam Hornish won was last year at Kentucky, almost a full season ago. It seems like it to Sam. Coming down to the checkered flag, Sam Hornish. Good work, buddy, good work. Take a look further back. It's Frankini getting around Mira for fourth. And Sam picks up his first win of the season and 19th of his career.